What is up, everybody? It is your boy Fry. Thank you once again for tuning in. Drop a like and subscribe if you support the channel. It is much appreciated. Is my no my main monitor on on? All right. So as you can see here today, we're going to be consolidating vocals. Now, what does consolidate mean? It basically means to take many of um, the same of one thing and to turn them into one thing. I guess I don't know the dictionary definition. Um, if you're not as neat as me, as you can see, when I record in FL Studio, um, you know, you get all the takes and you just kind of blend them all together. So I'll already be guiding you through the process of uh, turning all of your separate takes, because if you look here, we've got a lot of takes, right? Now that's really all of these vocals, right? If I just click on one, um, it's one of these, right? So in FL Studio, the way everything is set up for recording is kind of annoying in a sense, but um, if you know, you know, FL Studio, they provide you with all the tools necessary to get the job done. So um, what is our mission and what is our goal? To turn all of this into one file, right? So um, basically what you want to do first off before even considering this is make sure that you are finalizing the take that you want. So as you can see, you know, there's some double takes and all that, which I've already just muted, which you can use. Um, you can press the T button and that'll go into that little cross there, which is the mute tool. And then you can go ahead and uh, record all your stuff and mute what you don't want because you don't want that to, uh, you know, double up and interfere with what you have unless it's a double. So yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing is now let's just kind of look at one of these. Now in certain situations, you're going to have a, let me just um, move that up. In certain, certain situations, bleh, you might have um, vocals that overlap right now. If there are clicks and pops in these vocals, like as you can see here, you know, for example, you had to cut it there, um, but you're going to consolidate your vocal, but you know, you're happy with what everything sounds like. What I recommend doing is double clicking on your vocal and then um, going to this de-clicking little dialog box here and then clicking the generic uh, bleeding setting. And as you can see right there, all it's really done is, um, let's just kind of move that up. As you can see, it's added that little uh, ramp, if you want to call it that, which is a crossfade. Um, and the reason we crossfade vocals, right? I'll crossfade the other one, boom, right? So as you can see, um, everything is not needed to be crossfade in this project because we've got no kind of, um, you know, split words or anything like that. It's also important to edit, um, you know, in FL. Well, as you can see, everything now is cleaned up. Let's just say we did that for all of these tracks. Um, when you consolidate, there aren't going to be any weird like, you know, bumps or anything like that within the track. That's why it's called de-clicking. Um, I won't even lie, uh, FL Studio is pretty annoying when it comes to de-clicking because in Pro Tools, you can literally just press a button and it uh, fades in. I don't quite like FL Studio's uh, crossfade method. I find that pretty annoying. But yeah, so now let's just say you've done all of this. Everything is ready. You're happy. Um, leave a bit of a start and tail. So as you can see, they've got a bit of a start and tail. And then what you want to do is make a selection. So as you can see, there, I've made a selection now. I want to access this tool, which you can find on the uh, E tab, right? Make sure your beat is in sync or not, doesn't really matter. Um, but you just want to drag to before where the vocal starts. So you don't want to start it over there. That's a bit risky. You want to give um, your door a bit of headroom. So you do that, just kind of drag it and then leave a bit of headroom, right? Boom. So now we've got our um, selection. Now what we want to do is we want to go into our mixer tab, which, um, and this is also really important. You need to make sure all of these vocals are rooted towards one channel, right? Um, if they're not, you can pretty much use the mixer. And then uh, if everything's rooted to the master channel naturally, uh, mute the beat and then solo the master channel and then um, proceed with what I'm gonna show you. But because we set out our recording correctly, we've got everything going to this uh, mono channel, which is our main vocal. Let's name that um, main, whoops, man vocal, main vocal, boom. All right, now the important thing is I've got plugins on this channel, right? We don't want to um, render or export and then re-import any of these effects. So we're just gonna turn all of these off. Boom, 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 thank you, ma'am. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable the record button, boom. Now, obviously if nothing is rooted to a channel and everything's in the master, mute the instrumental and you can do the same with the master, right? Um, then what you wanna, wanna do is you wanna click in this left corner here on the mixer and then uh, render to wave. Now, I don't know if my recording is gonna stop if I render to wave, so I'm just gonna cut the video and then um, join back in. All right, so. All 
Alrighty, so um, you should have your, you see this is another problem with FL is uh, sometimes it glitches, but that's why I say rather have um, a bit of space in the front and at the end, because if anything goes wrong, um, at least you've got a safety net. So yeah, here we go. Basically now our vocal that we had over here in many different separate takes, separate takes is now one, right? So there we go. It should be exactly the same. Boom, that's awesome. Now uh, what we wanna do is, uh, we want to root that back to our channel that we had it at. So main vocal, right? Which is channel three. And now we can turn our plugins back on. Awesome, our plugins are back on and we can continue to mix in a clean session. So that's pretty much the little tip that I have for you guys. I'll obviously make sure now to, uh, you know, mute the channel, boom, and you're ready to go. <laughs> it is your boy Fry, like and subscribe if you have not. Um, feel free to post any videos you'd like to see in future. Until next time, peace.